Muslims in Bayelsa State have organized prayer in honor of the nation's fallen heroes to commemorate the Armed Forces Remembrance Day. Our correspondent, Dakuru Gray, was at the special Jumat prayer and now reports. The 15th of January is Armed Forces Remembrance Day. It is an annual event set aside to commemorate the nation's departed officers as well as to honor living veterans. Although it was formally celebrated on 11 November in honor of the end of the First World War, however, upon the government victory against Biafran troops on 15 January 1970, the day was changed to 15th of January in commemoration of the conclusion of the Nigerian Civil War to mark the day in Bayelsa, the Muslim community in Yenegua took out time to pray for the nation's living and fallen heroes at the 16th Brigade Mosque. The purpose of the Juma service and prayer was to pray for the souls of the departed heroes, the victory of all the seven military officers, and to reassure all members of the armed forces that the nation is behind them. It is for the purpose of praying for the souls of our departed colleagues and for also to pray for the victory of all our serving men and officers throughout the nation against what they are fighting for. Juma service is just to reassure all the members of armed forces that the nation is behind them solidly. And that is the essence of uh, these prayers. The nation is always praying for its armed forces to ensure that uh, we achieve all our assigned tax and responsibilities. And my advice to the military today is that they should put more effort. We know they have been trying, but they should put more effort because the, the kidnapping and the bombing is still continuing. So we are still praying that the thing should talk. Then my message to the presidency, we know that he just came on board, but he should direct the serving chiefs to take care of all these things because the kidnapping and this recently now, about four or five days ago, kidnapping and killing. Appreciating the Muslim community in the state, the Legion Vice Chairman by our State Council appealed to the federal government to make the welfare of legionnaires and serving military officers a priority. Remembering us today for those that are Muslims is something that is monumental. The call to the government is that the government should be proactive and ensure that the welfare of those that are serving and those still that have left the service should be put in the front corner. Those that have retired in the developed countries, before you leave the system, the, your building, the place where you will stay for life will be built. But here, most of us, more than 99% of us that serve in this country, in the military, when we live through, we don't even have a bachelor house to stay. Last year, President Bola Tinebu approved the sum of 18 billion naira to cover the group life assurance benefits and other entitlements to the families of seven members who lost their lives in line of duty. Dal Gray, Plus TV News by Elsa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.